The holiday season is filled with friends and family, but for some it also includes unwanted stress and anxiety. This could be caused by unwelcome house guests or just overbooked schedules. Joining me now with ways to stay balanced this holiday season is Dr. Laura Hume. She is from the Florida Psychological Associates. Thank you for coming to talk Thanks about this. Thanks for having me. Thanks. This is such a common thing. A lot of people go through holiday mm -hmm. stress. Mm -hmm. It happens uh, throughout the year, actually. Sometimes mm -hmm. there's moments in your life where you're just feeling excessive amounts of stress. Very true. It's important to be mindful of that and do things that you can, anything you can do to just kind of reduce that stress a little bit. Okay, so you have some really good ideas and things that we can do that will really make a difference. The first thing is you need to be very selective about the things, because, I mean, obviously there's a lot of extra activities. I mean, I know... Some people are double, triple booked for different right. events on, on weekends and weekdays. You have to be selective about which things you choose to attend. Exactly. So a lot of, a lot of events come up. Some of them are planned. Sometimes they're not even mm -hmm. planned. And it's important to just kind of prioritize and choose what's really going to be meaningful and matter most to you. So maybe, you know, Aunt Mildred's making cookies that night and the Christmas tree lighting's happening and the Christmas pageant at the, at the church is happening all at the same night. And you got to kind of pick and choose which one of those is most important and meaningful to you. And, and in the holiday season, I think it's important to choose the meaningful events based on what you want out of those situations. So if you want what's most important to you is family connectedness. Maybe mm -hmm. you choose, choose an event Mildred. that's yeah. Yeah, yeah important for you for that. Maybe it's community connectedness. Then maybe you need to choose a different event because of that priority. Very interesting. So really think about the things you're going to do instead mm -hmm. of trying to do all three because that's going to put you in a stressful situation, yes. Yes. especially with traffic and like yeah, adding to the <laughs> craziness and everything else. Oh, so yeah. another one is that, and I like this one, um, remember to take time for yourself. I mean, right now, my, because it says specifically on her tips here, get that holiday pedicure, my toes right now, <laughs> you don't even want to know. I mean, it's because I've been so busy. So you're saying you, we have to do those little things for ourselves. Yeah, just like you have to maintain your level of, of calm and support your energy throughout the rest of the year, mm -hmm. you shouldn't just let those things go during the holiday season. When stress increases, those things that you're doing to reduce stress need to increase too. So maybe you need two pedicures during the <laughs> Dr. holiday season. <laughs> Dr. Hume said it. I'm going to have two <laughs> pedicures in the next two weeks. Um, you know, another thing, too, is that uh, you don't want to stop engaging in the things that help you manage stress. Mm -hmm. So and if you, so basically, if you have um, different things that you do, whether it's meditation, whatever, exactly. make time for those. Exactly. And again, kind of double down on those in, during the holiday season. Take the time. I don't know if you're, if you're a person that jogs every morning. Make sure you're still making the time to do that in your schedule. You know, just like we were talking, don't overbook yourself, mm -hmm. making sure you're still booking that time to take care of yourself. If you're not taking care of yourself, then, then you can't support your family or engage in those other activities that you really would want to do during and the holiday season. One final thing, and I love this when I was reading this because I realized I don't really do this, but what, whatever event you pick to go to, you kind of touched on this a little bit, really set what you want to get out of it. Like, think about that yeah, before you go. Exactly. Um, sometimes we just go from one event to another to another and are not really thinking, not really mindful of the importance of that event. And so if you're going to choose, if you're going to prioritize an event, make sure you're really thinking to yourself, how is this, you know, what do I really want to get out of this event? What is, how is this bringing out the spirit of the holidays mm -hmm. for me? So be very present. And I think pr other people will appreciate that too, because then you're giving them quality time. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Dr. Hume, these are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, hey, if you missed any of this information, don't worry. We're going to post this interview to our website, news4jacks.com. Just look under the Live Healthy section.